Hello, good morning. Uh, this is Ken here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the power of simplicity. Right? The power of simplicity has often been overlooked or sometimes have been even totally outright being ignored by most of us. Uh, one of the reasons why this happens is because um, because it's so simple that you know we just don't think that it works and also because of uh, the people that sell books and uh, training courses right they often try to make their strategy sound as sophisticated as possible so that we can pay you know more than is necessary to acquire the knowledge the skills and the tools from these trainers or the authors so therefore even though some of the strategies could be very simple um, you know uh, by nature they try to make it more sophisticated sounding so that they can sell you a course uh, at a price they can justify for example you pay five hundred dollars for a course on how to say <coughs> uh, lose weight right? and then they'll tell you that their method is uh, you know the most you know as a result of the most groundbreaking research uh, with using the latest technology or the latest uh, discovery of certain techniques or methods right so therefore you go and pay for that amount you know and then all you know the, the way they justify is like you pay five hundred dollars for it but in return you're getting more than fifty thousand dollars worth of return in your profits or you know in your business right when you have a you know positive self image this will help you to get a better career so in return you probably get five million dollars back so what is five hundred dollars so I think that is also or at least largely right responsible uh, to the fact that most of the you know uh, most of us have overlooked the power of simplicity so today I'm gonna just talk about the power of simplicity in action in thoughts uh, in the way we interpret things around us in habits and all that but today I'm just going to focus on uh, the power of simplicity in uh, how we interpret certain things right um, I've got this idea from uh, this guy his name is Oli Hidi uh, he wrote a book called uh, creating the perfect lifestyle right Oli O L I Hidi H I W L E uh, he's a New Zealander uh, he talked about how in one of his chapters he talked about how we can actually double our income almost immediately right? most of us would think that doubling our income immediately is out of the question I mean how can I do that right, without changing my job because we are talking about immediate like say for example this month I have $3,000 right? next month I want to make it $6,000 so it's not possible right so the secret of this uh, strategy lies in actually changing the way we view certain things in our world because when we talk about income we always talk we always think about you know uh, whatever money that we make whatever money that flows in to our bank account at the end of the period say one month right so if we have only one source of income and that's our full-time job and it fetches us three thousand dollars a month so we often assume our income is three thousand dollars but mr healy says that uh, we don't necessarily have to look at income this way because there's another way to look at income which is more beneficial to uh, improving our financial position so if you have three thousand dollars coming in every month and you spend two thousand eight hundred dollars right in that whole month so effectively you only have two hundred dollars left and that $200 should be viewed as your income uh, the reason for that is because money spent on consumption on rental on food have no uh, recurring use to you anymore right it's like a one-time one-off benefit right the rental you pay for last month right and that amount of money has used only for last month and has been used so therefore we should always focus on our uh, residue you know the remaining income that we have after all the expenditures all the expenses <coughs> so that little change in our focus right uh, can mean a big difference 
So because we now look at the income as whatever that is left after deducting all the expenses, we now try to improve, right? We can now focus our energy on doubling it, right? Or even tripling it for the next month. So if you have two thousand, I mean, if you have three thousand dollars, you spend two thousand eight hundred. So now that you have only two hundred dollars left, so it's so easy now, right, to double the income. Don't you don't you think so, right? Because all you need to do is probably perhaps save another two hundred dollars. So just spend two hundred dollars less, less, you know, uh, over the next month, then you have four hundred dollars, right? And if you want to uh, double that four hundred dollars. You can spend even less, or you can do some part-time jobs, right? Put some things up on eBay, right? And uh, you know, sell off the things that you don't use anyway, right? So that will perhaps uh, fetch you eight hundred dollars in the third month, right? So depending on uh, how high you set your targets, right? So try to look at income. Uh, in terms of whatever that has been left over at the end of the month, right? So I think uh, today I'm gonna just talk about that. Uh, that idea is really mind, I mean, game changing to me. I'm not so sure about for you. So that's why you now it leads me to this uh, clip that I want to do. I've been always wanting to do this clip for a long time, right? So I thought, you know, let's do it today. Um, so never underestimate the power of simplicity, all right? Because of Oli Healy's idea, uh, you know, I've come to this conclusion that money saved is actually money earned, right? Uh, one of my mentors told me, you know, it's not how much you earn, it's really how much you get to save and how much you get to invest. Because only uh, money that is saved and invest can work for you. Not the money that has been consumed, you know, that has been spent on consumption. They won't fetch you any more utility. All right. So, uh, and that is also the reason why I like to read books because uh, not all book writers are, you know, trainers, consultants, or whatever guru they call themselves. They just write books, and they're not here to conduct a lot of seminars and things like that and if they conduct seminars they, they normally don't upsell you right this kind of uh, I would say more authentic or genuine authors right so uh, a lot of I mean the best some of the best things in the world might not be free but a lot of good things in this world are definitely not as expensive as some people have made them out to be right so remember that never underestimate the power of Simplicity, simplicity in action, simplicity in thoughts, or even simplicity in spirituality. Right? Okay, I mentioned simple, but doesn't mean it is easy. Right? Some of the simplest things in the world are the hardest thing to do. Right? But at least you know it's simple, it's possible, it's achievable if we get our mind into it. Alright? If we have the right mindset. So remember that. Now, uh, I'll make more clips on you know based on this team, right? Never underestimate the power of simplicity. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.